More to Marketing. Welcome to More to Marketing, a podcast on marketing products and everything in between. I'm your host, Susan, and today we're going to be talking about product roadmaps. We want to really decode product roadmaps, making them stand out and being user-friendly. In the realm of product management and development, a product roadmap is a useful tool that provides a strategic view of your product's journey, laying out the path from conception to delivery. It's not just a roadmap, it's a GPS for your product success. We're going to talk about all the pieces to help this come about at a very high level. So what is a product roadmap? A product roadmap is a visual representation of the product's vision and strategy. It outlines the key features, functionalities, and milestones that will shape your product's development over time. Typically, it will include things like a timeline. Uh, This is a chronological view of your product's development, highlighting short-term and long-term goals. It's not just linear. It can also, you can have staging. Sometimes you have to loop back. So consider how you're going to visually represent that when you're doing an iterative, iterative approach to development. Key initiatives will be identified, such as major projects, features, and enhancements to be implemented and when, so starting point and the final delivery point. Prioritization should always include um, the demonstrations on which features are going to be the highest priority, and this is essential for your team achieving their goals and for the product to be created in the way you're envisaging it. Otherwise, people can go off and do things in the wrong order. Dependencies. Show how different elements of the product are interconnected and reliant on each other. Another view of this could be adding in a service map view to help you understand this. Communicative tools. Services as a means to communicate the product's vision and strategy to stakeholders, team members, and other users. So make sure that communication is also being pumped out everywhere so everyone knows what stage everything is at and if we're hitting milestones or not. When making your product roadmap stand out and user-friendly, you need to ensure it's clear and simple. Keep your roadmap simple and easy to understand. Use visuals, color coding, clear labels, whatever it is to make it user-friendly. Align with objectives. Ensure the roadmap aligns with your product's overall objectives. It should reflect your vision and strategic strategy clearly. Plus, you've got to make sure all the other departments know what's going on, like marketing, for example, customer care, or the training department. Inclusivity. Make your roadmap accessible to everyone. So going on about the alignment of objectives, what's going on in the business, where you're going to be aligning like your marketing funds or your time to train people. Let everyone know what's going on so they can jump in at any time and be able to put into their own roadmaps. So provide alternative formats for those with maybe disabilities or ensure it's accessible um, to the tech team and non-tech members so everyone can understand what's going on. Have regular updates. So keep your roadmap up to date as the product evolves and be transparent and clear with timeline information because it is key. Have a feedback loop. Encourage all your stakeholders and users to provide feedback. Understand their needs and incorporate their input into the roadmap too because sometimes you might be dependent on other things and this is how you work all that out by having a feedback loop. Prioritization. Clearly indicate the priority of each item in the roadmap and who owns it because you want people to be accountable and understand what needs to be done. Now, there are many different types of roadmaps out there that you can use. And some of the examples are now, next, later model. The roadmap categorizes items as now, so it's current work, next upcoming or later future work. It's easy to understand and provides a clear sense of direction. One of my personal favorites is more a Kanban roadmap based on the Kanban board. Kanban board. It visualizes work in processes, helps maintain the flow and offers a transparent view of the development process. Release plan, pretty much like your old waterfall. It showcases upcoming releases and the features associated with each release, providing a structured view of the product's development over time. Sprint plan roadmap, ideally more for the agile development. However, the roadmap provides work in sprints, each with specific goals and features to be delivered. A well-crafted product roadmap is not just a document. It's a strategic 
asset that guides your product's journey. By making it clear, user-friendly and inclusive, you ensure that it's a valuable tool for everyone involved in your product success. Thank you for listening to this podcast from Water Marketing. Don't forget to follow to hear more fabulous podcasts in the future. More to marketing.